Hello everyone, and welcome back to another night of Magic the Gathering, Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2014. Uh, today, we're looking at the Masks of the Mirror deck, which is a blue-black deck, or uh, uh, Oceans and Swamps. A uh, lot of removal, and uh, that's main, it's main, one of its main games, it's just removal, counter spells, uh, getting people to discard their cards, etc. If you recall last episode, we were uh, slaughtered by this guy, he made a real comeback. And that game lasted forever. Anyway, we shall see how how we do with this uh, with this deck. I've only unlocked four cards, uh, so I haven't played with it all that much. So I don't have anything to really pull out of the hat. But we'll see how we do. We're gonna play against a random opponent, a random deck. Let's see how we get on. First game out of three. Let's see if we have better luck this time around. Right, Chandra, Flame Wave deck, episode one. Well, episode two, technically. Um, this is alright to mana. Most of my things here, as you can see, are cheap. We've got some rats. This guy's also two. Uh, he's got ability where we can either discard uh, the player's cards or we can draw cards for ourselves. We've got some flying. This is good. We're going to keep this hand. These rats, I like these rats because as soon as we play them, he, she has to discard a card. What we can do first turn, actually, is make her throw her cards down on the floor. Do we want to do that now? I find it a, a little pointless because, okay, she puts the top two cards of her library into the graveyard. What do you do? What if those two cards are crap? And the, the, the third card is a fantastic card. It does, however, give us card draw. But we, we're up on seven cards, so let's leave it with that for now. When we do run out of cards, which we will at some point, we can can throw that down. She's also a fast deck. She needs low mana to throw out. Here we go. A Torch Fiend. So she can sacrifice him and sacrifice a, 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 a an artifact of mine. But I've got none. So that's alright. We shall throw down this land. We can now play our rats, which is 1-1, one, one, but she discards a card. We've got this guy 2-2, two, two. however blocking this he will still die. And we've got this 1-1 one, one flying which he, she cannot block. We can of course kill the creature. It is an instant, but I think we're going to make her discard a card. Let's make her discard a card now. Yes. And next turn, we'll see. Maybe get rid of that creature. Maybe she pops out something else now which is worthy of this minus three, minus three. That's just a two one. And she flame strikes my card. So payback is a bitch. We're going to destroy your creature. So yeah, she's all about sort of direct damage and removal. I'm also about removal. We've got here put target creature on top of its own library, so whatever's on the battlefield just take it back sort of delay you a turn. We can... what shall we do? We can pop him out. She may just flame strike him again. We can pop out a flying. She could do the same. Let's... We've got no more mana. Let's, at le let's get rid of this for now. we got another one. But at least next turn she cannot hit us with, uh, with him and ping off another two damage. So let's see. Okay, she's pulled out a health grab her whenever she plays a battle, sorry, a mountain, or cast a spell, she gains life. So there, that will give her a life point, which is alright for now. Ooh, this is a nice enchantment, uh, sorcery. Uh, put target, artifact, or creature from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. So if she has something powerful, like that, we can pull it back and say, it's mine now, what you gonna do about it? We can make it discard cards. Let's get, let's get this guy out onto the field. Uh, hopefully, get to swing with him next turn. We'll see because she's got four mana. Probably a fifth one coming out. She's got two card, three cards in her deck, so we could. Oh, we don't have any more card removal. And a flying one one comes out. Can't attack now, but we do have a flying one one to counter. It should the need arise. And what is this? Oh, gives creatures haste, but she cannot, she cannot give anything haste yet. 
Oh, where is our mana? Okay. We need to counter that flyer. So... Let's put that down. We counter that flyer. We can attack with this. And we could get rid of that Crimson War Mage. Because that haste is quite nasty. Although, if I can build up some mana. If... Look at this. Play this card's a card. And uh, we could get it down to zero cards and keep her in control with that. Okay, we're going to save him for now. And, uh, and see what happens. Okay, another Pilgrim's Eye, another little 1-1 one -one flying. These are artifact creatures. So that does mean something. <laughs> it, I, it escapes me right now. Ooh, minus two, flying with haste. A lot of flying creatures on the board. Be nice if we had some mass removal. We sh can. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ping him off. So we get to draw a card out of this little exchange, which is not all that bad. Let's see what we get. Please, a land. Give us a land. Yes, I want to draw a card, please. Thank you. Great, and we've got some rats. When. Uh, it enters battlefield, target discards a card from her library. She's got no cards um, in her hand, so no point playing that right now. What we can do is get rid, perhaps, of something, or we can set her back a turn with a time ebb. We have no more creatures to put out. I think we need to cl clean up a bit of what's on the board. So... I really want to see this is creatures. I really want to give her this enchantment. I don't want to give her this chance to get so much life. Let's mm, let's get rid of that flying could be a pain. If I get one more mana, then I've got this guy out. So let's get rid of this. Uh, we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to attack with him. It will leave us open, but. Uh, she may choose. She won't block. She's got more than enough health. We may as well just do this and get rid of cards. We also get to draw a card. Uh, choose a player to put two cards on top of his note. She. So we'll see what she she has to throw away. Two lands. Great. And let's attack with him. No need for her to block this and lose her one flying creature. So let's just let it through. And I've got nothing to block any of this oncoming attack. She picked up a land, so she can't cast any spells. This is going to go through. Three damage to my face. But we will start getting rid of some of these things. We've got another mana. What we can do is we can... No. This is three mana, which leaves us with one we cannot put anything else out. So, we're going to get this guy out because he's flying. He can at least block one of these attacks. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life. Okay, so this is slowly going to ping away at me, which means I need to start getting in some serious damage through to her. I need to start knocking her down quickly. I hope this wasn't a mistake. She may have a spell. She's just pulling up land at the moment. Uh, which is which is fine for uh, with me. She doesn't have any direct damage, which could hurt. Bing! There goes my life. We've got more mana. I can activate one of these abilities. Discards a card. She has no cards to discard. Uh, no cards to discard. We can time ebb, so we can get rid of something. For two. Okay. We're going to get rid of this guy. We cannot, uh, if we had one more mana, we could have played this now, and then she would have had to discard a card from her hand. Oh, which she does not have, actually. Uh, I thought I put it back in her hand. Am I confused? Where did it go? Hmm. Okay, well, I can't really do much else, so let's just throw this out, draw some more cards. She can discard the top two cards. Oh, one of them is the creature, isn't it? 
and there's a health a health stuff. Yes, there it is. It was on the top of her library, and the, uh, a health card which she does not need. So we're going to swing with that. She's going to block obviously the four four, getting rid of her creature, which is good news for us. Unfortunately, whatever she picks up this turn, she can play straight away, which is a flying phoenix. Um, now we can pull out some of her cards should we get another land, I think. Do we have three, four, five? Three, four, five. But I, yes, I can. And we've got more land. Fantastic. She has no cards in her hand. What to do? This guy, when he enters battlefield, target creature on top of its owner's library. Right, so we can return this to her library and then hit it for six. Which might be a good idea. This, we get to put target artifact or creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield. What does she have that we might possibly want? Um, nothing really. Okay, so we'll save that. We are going to put him down. Pop that onto the top of her library. And then swing for six. And there's nothing she can do about that. Good. We're going to get in some solid damage. She's down to 16. I'm down to 11. Let's see. She's going to pull out that same card. Play it again. Picks up one health, which is a bit of a pain. It'd be nice if you could play these as a as a as an instant. I believe that uh, ability is called flash. When a card has flash, you could play it as an instant. All right. This guy takes off a life of ours. We get another one of these, which doesn't really help us. Those don't help us. Uh, into the battlefield. Flying, she can block. She could kill this flying creature. Which is not optimal. Although it is pinging life off from us every turn, but to hit it for 4 damage is great. So, hmm, what to do, what to do. I know she doesn't have any cards, she probably won't get much in the line of cards. So we may as well throw both of these guys out there. So next turn we've got something big. Well, we've got more of a presence at least, and we can hit it for more. Uh, choose a, a opponent. What? Her. Yes. Although that does has no effect because she's got no cards. Now we shall swing with everything we've got. He can choose to block the four going through and lose her creature which is probably the best thing even though we lose four we still got this four for next turn granted she doesn't draw something oh she lets it through right she's on, she's on nine I cannot block next turn and I lose one health from my card so that is going to be five damage so I'm going to be on five which is not great she didn't attack which is quite interesting why did she not attack okay does she have any okay we can wait let's see let's get this out this is artifact or creature card an artifact or creature hmm we could get this oh, but it's only a red spell or mountain uh, so whenever she casts anything we would get life but not vice versa and this we have to this we have to use a mountain in order to use its ability, which we don't have any of. We could... No, this is an instant. We ca cannot call that in. We could get one of these flyers, perhaps, as a backup, uh, should she choose to attack. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to get out... Hang on. Wait, maybe I've got something in here I'd like to get out instead. Dog creature gets minus three, minus three. That's an instant, instant sorcery, instant, instant creature, one flying. Ravenous rats discards a card. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. If we were playing multiplayer now against an opponent, my time would have run out. Flying and haste. 
Whenever your opponent is dealt damage by a red instant sorcery spell you control, or by a red planeswalker you control, gain charge phoenix from reboot. Okay, I don't have those things, but it's a two-two in um with haste. Although this it comes onto the battlefield under control, it doesn't become tapped, so we can use it straight away. Oh, what to do? It's a sorcery. We can't use. Let's put down. Let's get a flying. Yeah, heck to, heck to it. Let's get, let's get a flying. We can get, we can go one of one of hers. We'll go back to her her thing afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a one one. We could get actually this two two. So should we block that? It will do enough damage to kill it. Okay, so we can hit for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, which would kill her. She can stop two of these attacks. We might... Do we have this? Hmm. She can stop the 4. Be 10 damage, 8 damage going through. Both the creatures gone. She's on 2 health. This could be good for us. And she picks up a land. She gains 1 health. GG, Chandra. GG. Ah, look at this. We've got here. Target player discards two cards. Again, no cards. So, no need for that. We don't even need to draw cards. We're fine. We're just going to swing with everything. Attack. And that is the game. So there you go. There you see quite a bit of removal. Unfortunately, we didn't get to just make her discard all the cards that we could have. And, um... Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got a illusionary armor, plus four, plus four. Uh, but yeah, uh, we were struggling on the mana side of things. Right, let's hop into the next game. See who we're up against. This time, oh, oh, it's oh, oh, it's a samurai deck. Okay, we've only got one mana. This is not good. Even though I like these rats, they're a bit expensive. With one mana, we cannot risk that. We can draw a new hand. Okay, we at least we got some terramorphic expanses. We still have rats and we have some removal. And this is a flying six five creature, but she's highly expensive. But we're gonna keep this hand for now. And uh, let's see let's see what we how we do. Now I've noticed people when they play these terramorphic expanses, I just play them straight away. Um, but other people leave them there, wait, and then just before their turn then they go ahead and uh, and tap it and and get the mana the mana out the mana and I don't understand why why wait but anyway okay we need this guy to start throwing his cards away because these these samurai are a royal pain in the ass they synergize so well with each other and they just buff and buff and buff and buff so first call to action is discard a card Go on. You, my friend, get rid of some of your cards. We don't want you to have any cards in your hand. And he throws away a land. Which, yeah, could be a good thing. Unless he's got cards which are cheap. No, he's got nothing there. Now we could sacrifice our rats to take this out. He has. Oh no, but he has got Bushido too. So he gets becomes a 3 3 when we block him. No point to block. We may as well remo uh, use our removal on him to get rid of him. Okay, we can. We could let's get rid of his creature now. He's got two cards in his hand. That cleans up the board for us. We can get one attack through right now, so we'd be on the same level. But we need to hit him hard as fast as we can because if he starts building up a presence here we are toast right Bushido 1 this becomes a 2-2 two, two when blocked and uh, yeah okay nothing nothing else special about that card we can again remove it we need to get some more land down we're going to go for a swamp because we've only got one of those that one, thank you. Pop that in. We can't really do much. We can get ri rid of it. Thing is, there are some scary creatures in this deck, uh, characters, and I, I think I should save that for when the bigger boys come out. 
We can draw two cards though, uh, which will take us up to seven. Next turn, you might have to discard something. Hmm. Let's let's just make him discard cards from the, his library because we can't really do much else for now. What have we got rid of? We got rid of oh some equipment and look at this monstrous, a legendary creature. So that was a good move. We don't want him to have that sitting in his hand. And we've picked up a flying, which is fantastic. We've got one more creature on the board. We could attack, but there's no point because he would just block and becomes a 2 2, kills my creature, and that is the end of him. Oh, well, end of my rats. Not the end of him. He's got one card left in his hand. He can't do anything with it, which is great news. Is he going to attack? He may as well attack because. Whatever I block with is going to die. Now, we can play a 4 4. Which might be good at this point. Our health is still high, so we don't mind this tinging away slowly. And should he attack with this, we can block and kill it without with surviving ourselves. We shall attack with our little flyer because he cannot stop it. Uh, we'll save our rats because we do want to maintain some sort of board presence. Does this deck have flying? I'm not sure. Okay, another Ronan comes out. At least he, they don't have buffs yet. But uh, this deck is heavy on buffs, equipment, and putting equipment on things and whatnot. Okay, we've got. 5 attack, which can go straight through to his face. Let's see what, who's phoning me. And we're back, I'm sorry for that interruption. Just a phone call, someone had lost the phone, wants to know if I knew it was, etc. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so what have we got? We have... Good attack. We can get rid of something. We can draw cards. We can actually draw cards and get rid of something, so let's see what are in the cards for us now. Ooh, fantastic. Okay, he's got one card in his hand. When it enters battlefield, he has to get rid of that card. We don't know what that card is. We are going to tell him to get rid of it. We want him to be without cards for as much as possible. We don't want to give him any options. Oop, but lag. What did he have? Oh, look at that. Another legendary creature. 5-5 five, five flying. He couldn't pay for it though. 6. And he had 2, 3, 4, 5. He could have possibly next turn. We may as well attack with everything because blocking these things are just going to get us killed. So actually he's going to... Oh, I can't stop that. He's going to take that out. I forgot about that. Oh well. Doesn't matter. We've hit him for 5. In his face he's down to 13. What has he drawn into? Not much. Now we can block this but there's no point. So just let that go through. We do have removal for him he has he picked up a land he still cannot block the next five damage which is coming to him and we can throw out our flying whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player put that many plus one plus one counters on this guy oh look at this we're gonna attack for five he cannot block no matter what this is gonna become a 11 10 creature we may as well make him discard cards whatever just just discard some cards Let's see what we get rid of. We got oh more more land. I guess it's fine if we, if he if he doesn't pick up more land. You know, I don't know. Land is actually better because if he has land, he has no creatures. But anyway, we shall attack with these two. He cannot block. This becomes an eleven. He is dead. My next turn. Unless he can pull a magic magic something out the bag. Oh, hang on. Did I misread this? Oh, whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many counters on it so on the creature itself not on this an 8-8 eight, eight and a 2-2 two, two flying yeah GG man GG we can block one of these attacks it doesn't really matter we'll, we'll take this we'll stop this one we can stop both of them there's no point really <sighs> one damage goes through and this turn he is toast should we, just for shits and giggles, just buff something up? Yeah. Let's just buff this up, just for just for shits and giggles. And, because we can. <laughs> Why not, hey? You're going to win, just 
toy with a guy. I know he's not real, but hey. And we swing for everything. We got 18, 21 damage going through to his face. That's the second win. So far, best. We got two out of three. Overall, we've won this little uh, stint. Picked up a sleep card. Tap all creatures. Let's see if we can make this a three in a row. Let's hop straight in. See how we do. Ooh, Liliana. Black deck. Lots of removal. Bad cards. Look at this. Very expensive cards. Not much options. We're going to draw a new hand. Okay, we've got the two mono. We've got a flyer, rats. <sighs> okay, it's better. It's better. Uh, let's. We're going to throw this out first with a swamp. So when we do come back next turn, we have two mana. Well, we would have had two mana straight away if this wasn't a terramorphic. But she hasn't. She hasn't got anything. Yeah. Oh, I speak so. I speak too soon. Anyways, doesn't matter. Next turn, we get out our rats, and uh, what puts a card from his or her hand on top of the library, so we can set it back a turn with the next play. No, I lied to you. That requires three, so we can put out a flying for now. Okay, we've got a presence at least. We've got something. We cannot. Well, we could sacrifice it blocking this ghoul, but Liliana has a lot of pulling stuff out of the graveyard. If you have zombies, then pull the zombie out. and Resurrection, a lot of that sort of stuff. And I have to discard a card. At random as well, I don't get to choose what goes. Please not my land. Oh, hang on, it's when it dies, isn't it? I'm being a noob, when it dies. I'm not blocking. I need, uh, no. It's a flying, she has no flying, I need to keep my flying in case I get this guy out and I can give it a, make it a 4-4. Four, four. Let's get another of those out and we are going to get some chittering rats out. So she has to take one of her cards and pop it on the library. She gets to choose, we don't get to see it unfortunately, but she's down a couple cards. We will swing with this guy because may as well start pinging away at her. Next turn, no we need one more mana for that, two, three, four, no we can. We can get out our flying, which is great news. A 4-4 four, four is pretty hard to get rid of. Uh, many of the spells are, you know, 3-3, three, three, that sort of thing. Blood Ghast cannot attack. And he has haste if we have 10 or less life. Land 4, when land enters, you may return him from your graveyard. So you see there is some of that uh, resurrection from the from the graveyard. Pulling things back from the dead. She is not attacking. What is her game plan? Alright, we've got a big flyer out. Which is good news for us. These guys can save, save your butt. In, these, uh, in, in this deck. Even though they do cost, as in they, they ping your life away. If your opponent does not have flying, you're basically guaranteed 4 damage to a face. Let's hope she does not have removal. Ooh, a 4-3 death touch. Nasty. Whenever this thing damages you, even if your card is more powerful, it kills it. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Ouch. And puts a 2-2 two -two token creature tapped onto the battlefield. So this thing, if it hits me... I have to discard a card and we can put that back on its library hopefully get a land give us a land yes and it's not enough what am I saying okay we are going to enchant our creature this one up to a 8-8 eight, eight, and we're going to be smacking her for some serious damage let's do that and should this guy attack with him we will sacrifice our creature because we do not want him to see damage to a player. I do not want to discard a card and I do not want this board to grow. Oh no. Each player sacrifices a creature. I get to choose please? Can I choose? I can. Okay. Him. Our shitty little flyer. Yes, I shall draw a card. Ah, oh, score. Forgot about that card's ability. When it dies I get to draw a card. And it's just a standard zombie, walking corpse. This one does get to come back... No, it doesn't. 
Alright, she's got no cards left in her hand. She has quite the board presence. What we are going to do is we are going to block this thing from doing damage to us. We cannot kill it, but it will stop us from discarding a card, which is good by me. Give us something else, not to land. Great! We have 8 damage out here. We can... We can get rid of... Because she can't block anything. We can, may as well get rid of this big thing. Set her back a turn. Oh, I really gotta put my phone on silent. I apologize profusely, guys. That was a sloppy performance on my part. But... I think I've made up for it with these games so far. Uh, unless she has some sort of magical ability to get rid of this 8-8. Eight, eight. She's screwed! She didn't even put out the other creature, I don't know why. Let's, uh, let's block something. We don't even need to. I do not want to discard a card. Actually, it doesn't even matter. This cannot block. Uh, let's just... Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because she's over. GG. GG. She knows it. She didn't even bother playing that one card that we gave back to her. We can say... Nah, why? Why bother? Attack. And there is the game. Well... I think we've had a very good run this evening. Three in a row. Fantastic. So there you go. You see, very powerful deck. Very powerful deck. We have got Mark of the Vampire, Enchanted Creature. Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has lifelink. Lifelink's great because whenever it does damage, you get that life. That 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 um, amount of life. Which is great. Great great ability. So there we have it. The Masks of Demir will have a quick gander at the deck itself and see what we've got in here. Now we've got a bit of Terramorphic Expanses as you saw. This is the Thought Scar where you get rid of some cards from the from the library. Our Demir Guild Mage which has these abilities of either drawing cards for us or making opponent discard cards. Our little one on flyers, our rats with card removal and our our removal here, minus three minus three, more rats with card removal Time Ebb, send a creature back, draw cards, uh, target cre um, player discards two cards, so more card removal. It's all about managing the other person's hand. You keep them down to nothing in their hand, and yeah, you control the game. Here's our 4-4 four, four Flies, which won us the games most of the times. We've unlocked this uh, Mark of Vampire just now, and we've got this uh, Lobotomy, which is uh, we get to choose a card from their hand, and when we pick it, we search the entire library for all other cards of that type and discard them. Exile them. They cannot be brought back into the game at all. Uh, please to inform me, what does the silver uh, mean? Is it a, a rare? Um, it's not a legendary or an epic. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we've got sleep, which we never saw. All creatures cards become tapped and they cannot use them. Fantastic if you get to play that. Illusionary armor for plus four plus four. This is uh, put a target creature from theirs or my graveyard into play. We've got this return creature to the library. This one we never saw. It did pop up but we had to, we, we never got to use her. No I lie, we did. What am I saying? And she buffed up our creatures with plus one plus one counters in the second game. Here we've got another vampire card flying and undying, so when it dies it does come back with a plus one plus one counter. And finally, this Mind Leech Mass. Trample, 6-6, six, six, very expensive, it's 8 cost. Whenever Mind Leech deals uh, mass deals damage uh, to a player, you may look at the player's hand. If you do, you may cast a non-land card in it without paying that card's mana cost. So we can pull out one of the creatures onto our side, we can cast out a spell or an instant extremely powerful and there's a goal so I don't know legendary uh, um, I don't know anyway so that's what I've got in here there's just these two other cards as you can see I have not unlocked much and there we have it that was a good run um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, magic I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week if you're enjoying the series please do hit the like button do subscribe if you haven't done so already check out some of my other videos if you haven't already and uh, please do leave comments 
give me some advice. Maybe I'm playing things in the wrong order. Maybe there's better ways of uh, uh, building up combos, and I'm I don't see them or I'm misinterpreting the meaning of the cards. I am still learning, as I said. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.